Hi, thanks for watching. It is still Tuesday, July 1st, oh, August 1st, 2023. This is going to be my third video in my Sew for College because the third thing that I sewed, I can't find it. <laughs> so this is my third um, item from in my Sew for College series. It is a um, shopping bag, a foldable shopping bag. And the reason um, I, I decided to, to do this one was because in the area that I'm in, we do have to bring our own grocery bags. I know that where my sister lives, they have to bring their own grocery bags. And um, I don't know if that's the case where my son is going, but um, I thought it would be good for him to have just in case. And um, I had this piece of, I believe it's ripstop nylon. I tried ripping it. I tried to shred it. It didn't. And you can see kind of all the stitching in there. I bought it specifically to make this project. Um, I got lucky and I actually found it in a garage sale. I don't normally buy this kind of fabric because I absolutely do not like sewing with slippery fabric. I sew almost everything in 100% cotton. So I thought this would be a good learning for me and um, great, great material for this kind of a project because I do make shopping bags out of cotton and they, they end up, they just tend to be a lot bigger <coughs> because cotton is thicker. So, um, and this is a really, really strong fabric. So, um, and this is actually the right color that I wanted it to be too. So I got super lucky all the way around. It was like it was meant to be. Um, I did have to modify the pattern. I make a pattern. I'll put a link below um, for the pattern that I normally make. The pattern that I use was designed for um, for use with a fat quarter. So it has shorter handles than I prefer. And I've always, uh, I just elongated the pattern because I don't use fat quarters. But what it ha happens with that is you end up with a lot of waste. And because this is fabric I don't intend to use more, I didn't want, it, it would end up being essentially just waste. I use all the excess with the cotton. I keep all my scraps and I use it, but with the nylon, I wasn't gonna do that. And if I kept and did that design, I would also have only been able to make one. And as you can see, I have a finished one here and one cut out ready to go. Almost ready to go. I have one more piece to cut out. Um, I'll be able to get two out of this because it changed the way I did it. Um, on this one, what I ended up doing was I looked at my commercial bags and I found that I could actually change the pattern to make it work. So I did. Um, I shortened the handle way down on the body until it's just three inches across. And then I, I made handle, what is, they're essentially handle extensions. I just cut three by, um, I think this ended up being 16 inch pieces of fabric that I will attach here. So one of these straps pieces will sew to one of the body pieces. And there's two for each piece. This is the lining, so the lining will just stay the way it is. Um, and the way I decided to make it so, because my concern there would then be strength, is I will sew it together. I did sew it together, but I sewed with a really large seam, so uh, five eighths to half an inch, half an inch to five eighths. Um, anyway. Sewed with a large seam and then almost like a flat felled seam, what I ended up doing was I opened the fabric. So it's stitched here. I opened the fabric and then I folded this down and then folded it again down. And then I stitched across this fold and the inner fold here. So it was stitched here and here plus the original seam. So um, pulling on it, it feels like a really, really strong seam. And I know flat felled seam is really strong on that one. So um, the difference is on a flat felled seam, you would trim one side of these down. Um, on that. So that's how I compensated for the fact that I, you know, I liked the fact that it was, um, there was only one seam in the other bag, um, but it's really, really nicely built. Um, and that's kind of the way I'm making up for it. Uh, let me move that all out of the way. Now this I sewed on incorrectly on this bag. And so I'm actually going to sew another one and sew it on later. There's that loop should have been right there. And I messed it up. So I will actually make another one where it does the raw edges aren't exposed and sew it on right there. So there's a loop right there. And that's so that you can hook it on to different things and carry it, um, you know, without even thinking about it. So the bag itself is folded in. And when you fold it nicely, it just folds right into the bag, this bag, this little bag, which is on the inside of the bag. So it doesn't flap around um, while you've got your groceries in there. So it has to be on the inside. So... You can fold it neatly in there. Honestly, I never do with my bags. It does come out. I mean, the nylon's going to come out all wrinkly anyway. So I actually just take my all the rest of my bags. I don't have bags for all of them. They're not all designed this way. But I have a 
pocket in my purse. I just take them and I literally shove them in, which is the same thing you can do here. Um, is just take it all, oops, inside out, and shove it in. Sorry, phone's going off. In the bag. Sorry, that way. Anyway, you get the picture. It can just be shoved in there. So this is, when you open it up, it does come inside out, and you just flip it right side out. The other thing I didn't do is on a lot of my bags, they're not boxed. So I just said, you know, I, I don't miss it. Um, the fabric expands just nicely, so I'm not going to box these ones. If I did, I would do the triangle method anyway and not the cut corners method, so the square method. Um, and um, I would open the triangle and I would not... Uh, it's not going to work for me because it's nylon. It won't come apart. So match seam to seam, sew across. And, and traditionally, you would cut it. That's going to give you raw edges. You could French seam it, which um, um, would be fine too. I personally would just sew across it if I wanted to box it, and then I would lay this down on that base seam and stitch this part to the seam. I've done that on another bag, and um, it would works out just fine, and it looks just fine. Your, your, all your edges are not raw, and um, maybe you get a little more strength out of that in the corners, which will, is probably where you need it least, but still. So here's the bag. Big yellow bag. I'm not sure that you'll be able to see it in camera. Poke the corners out. And I'll show you as much as I can get in on camera. There it is. There's those finished straps right there. Right there on this one. Uh, let's see. There's the there's the one I sewed incorrectly. <laughs> it still might come in handy, so it's no big deal. And that is the final product in my third really should be my fourth so for college series hope you like it i hope it was helpful and i hope that wherever whenever you're at you're having a great time thanks for watching